When it comes to working with LED pixels, uh, one of the common questions and one of the challenges really are, can you build an LED tape or pixel project without soldering? You might be surprised that the answer is yes. Now, as I've mentioned before, if you're buying this stuff, LED tape, you're not going to be able to do a project with it without soldering. I mean, some people occasionally do, they'll buy LED tape, they'll run it for as long as they can run it uh, without adding power. And like if they have corners, they'll actually bend the tape, which makes me grimace, but it does work. Um, and they'll get by, okay? But if you're going to be serious about this, if you need to cut different lengths and you want it to last a long time, bending the corners probably isn't going to cut it. Um, so the question then becomes, can you and how can you build an LED tape or pixel project without soldering? Let me show you how. First things first, we're going to grab some friends to help us out. So when it comes down to it, first thing you're going to have, and this is just the closest one to me, is an LED pixel controller. There are many varieties around. Um, this one's from the Christmas light industry. Uh, one of my other favorites is the Entech Pixel Octo, which they recently lowered the price on that guy. Um, and they also include their pixel mapping software with it, Entex L, which is like a huge bonus. So I do recommend that. They didn't pay me seven or anything. I just really like the software. And the fact that they literally have the price on their controller on the Octo lately, a couple months ago, and they include the software for free is kind of a no-brainer uh, if you do need a pixel mapping software. But I digress. Um, so you need a controller, something like this, okay? It has on it these little green guys that come off. And these little green friends right here are where we insert our wires, and they are called a terminal block. You get a tiny screwdriver, you loosen these up. They're usually not loose from the factory. Okay, you loosen these guys up, and you're good to go. Another pixel controller actually that I have behind me is a Digidot pixel controller. Um, these guys are really cool too. They also use terminal blocks um, and they help you get the most pixels out of your controller, but I digress not for right now. Uh, so you get your pixel controller. You're hooking up with some terminal blocks with a tiny screwdriver. Okay, that portion so far does not require soldering. Okay, just a screwdriver. Strip the wires using a wire stripper. My favorite, my favorite for this kind of work is the Irwin Vice Grip automatic uh, self-adjusting wire strippers. Though recently, Harbor Freight's introduced a uh, a model that looks you know eerily similar that looks good, but I think they're about the same price. Anyways, these are cool because you don't have to adjust the size. Um, so you strip your wire, stick them in the terminal box, line up the right wires to the right the right stuff, as if voltage plus, voltage minus, or ground and data, and you're ready to rock and roll, okay? Uh, so then what's the next part? Well, if you're using Christmas light type pixels, which I recommend for a lot of pixel projects, you can actually do this without soldering because they come with waterproof plugs attached. How cool is that? Um, these plugs they call the X-Connect in that industry, and you also buy, when you buy the plugs, you can buy what they call a pigtail. Whew. And so a pigtail is just what it sounds like, it's, if, if this is a female pigtail, comes out of your controller, wire this end with the bare wires into the terminal blocks. Um, often they're, they're pre-tinned from the factory with a little tiny short end. I don't like that. I like to cut that off and strip it myself. I find I get a better connection. Um, and then they go to this X-Connect connector, which is the same connector on the end of the lights. So you can place those together. There's a little pin to line them up. and then you're good to go. Do you need to get your pixels away from your pixel controller a little bit? Well, be aware of voltage drop, but you can buy X-Connect extensions from any Christmas light vendor. So you got extension cords for that. Don't have to solder to make those. What's next? Well, say you're going along and you have, you know, a couple hundred of these and you need to cut a custom length of pixels. This happens really often. Well, you might have to solder for that, or you might not. So the next step is I like these little guys called Scotch Hawks, which I keep in a little vitamin container here. What Scotch Hawks are, are a product from 3M. You do want to get the 3M uh, UR2 or UY2 brand name ones, not the Klein, not any other brand, okay? Um, and they're IDC connectors, 
What's that mean? It means there's a metal piece that stabs the wires, okay, and makes the connection. The cool thing about scotch locks is you just place your wires into the scotch locks, grab these special pliers, though technically you can use any pliers, the special ones make it easier. Um, stick the pliers into the scotch lock, crunch down on it, you get some goo that pops out and gets all over your hands, that's waterproofing dialectic grease, and then your wires are connected. Do that three times for your pixel uh, plus power, minus power, and data, and now you've made a custom end. You either attach that to an extension or to an X-Connect uh, connector, and again, no soldering. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, when it comes to working with pixels, you can do it without soldering, and it's actually not that hard. So, if you're squeamish about soldering, or maybe you haven't done it a lot, or you just want to save the time and the hassle from soldering, and you are doing an LED tape uh, or an LED pixel type setup, then you can use these tips to make it a completely solder free experience. Put that soldering iron away, and you can build an LED project just like that. If you're interested for more, be sure to check us out at learnstagelighting.com and check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs because inside we've got an action plan called Custom LED Design that literally walks through from A to Z how to design, set up, build out, and make a really great LED project just like we're talking about here. You don't want to miss out on that and you also don't want to miss out on our next video where we're talking all about controlling this stuff. How do you do it? What programs do you use? What's the best thing to do? We'll talk about that and more in our next video. I'll see you there. Thanks.